So you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. Yes, I taped up my Mark VI. Now you might be asking yourself, Dave, that's such a great idea. How did you ever come up with it? Well, here's how. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you've probably seen one of my Will It Play videos. In many of those videos, I use painter's tape to tape pieces of instruments together. I always get comments on every single video saying, Dave, what happens if you mess up the lacquer? How do you get the tape off? Does it ruin it? And uh, I have a couple answers to that. One, it's painter's tape, so it's not that abrasive. Two, uh, most of my horns are all beat up anyway with the lacquer, so whatever. And three, yeah, I really just don't care. But it did get me thinking, what if I taped up the entire instrument and then played? Now, once again, this is the Dave Pollock YouTube channel, so this is not very scientific or thorough. But it is fun, and I hope you enjoy this. There are a couple things I'm going to be looking for during this. The first one is, how does it sound? Does the tape really deaden the sound down and really deaden the vibrations and make it a lot darker? Does it make it softer? Does it make it louder? I honestly have no idea, but I'm really excited to find out. So just like in a lot of my other comparison videos, I'm gonna play three songs with the instrument not taped up, and then I'm gonna play three songs with it taped up. I'll be alternating back and forth between them, but I'm first gonna block out what I'm playing so it's a completely blind test for you. One of the instruments is gonna be number one, and one of them is gonna be number two. They will stay consistent for the three songs. Once all the recordings are finished, I'll give you a second to guess which one was which in the comments below and let me know which one sounded better. Then I'll play those same recordings again. This time you'll be able to see which instrument I'm playing. So just so you know, I tried to put tape everywhere I could on the instrument, uh, on the lacquer that wouldn't affect the actual playability of the instrument. So, you know, I put it all over the bell, inside the bell here. I even <laughs> covered the keys, the palm keys, even stuff in the back here that you won't see while I'm playing the neck, everything that I could that won't affect a pad. And um, yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's see how it sounds.
So what did you think? Could you tell which one was which? Also, which one sounded better to you? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll give you a second. Now I'm gonna play those same recordings again. This time you'll be able to see which instrument I'm playing and then I'll give my final thoughts afterwards. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Let me just say a couple things. First off, I don't think they sounded different at all. I don't know about you, and I'm gonna check in the comments down below, obviously, but let me know if you could really hear any differences, because to me, I couldn't hear any. I've said this a million times before, but I believe that being comfortable on your setup is as or more important than the actual sound it produces. I believe that's because if you're comfortable on your setup, you're gonna be able to get to the sound that you have in your ear much more easily. Also, you're gonna feel like the instrument just disappears and you'll be able to just go from what's in your brain out of the horn with no latency. You should just go from thinking about making music to making music. Surprisingly enough, the instrument felt the same. Now, yes, I literally felt the tape on my fingers, but as far as like vibration goes, how heavy it felt, how dark it felt, the, everything else, it literally felt the exact same. Now, this is really surprising to me, honestly, because I thought, you know, putting tape all over the lacquer was gonna deaden it down or, or do something to kind of change the feel of the instrument. But all it did was kind of just get in the way a little bit when I was playing. So before I end the video, there's one thing I've been wanting to do for a long time, and now that I've done this test, I think it's gonna be perfectly fine to do.
think that's it. Let's see. Did it ruin it? <gasps> like I said, there's one thing I've been wanting to do for a long time uh, that I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna put some stickers on the horn and leave them there. Um, I know that the stickers are much more adhesive than the painter's tape, so we'll see what happens in the future. But I've always thought it'd be funny and, and cool to just put stickers on the horn. Whoa, to put stickers on the horn. Um, so I'm gonna start with my logo sticker and uh, a key leaf sticker. You gotta love them, thank you, Rulon. And uh, I'm gonna put them here somewhere and then let's see how it looks. <laughs> so a straight on shot, I guess it'll you'll be able to see it. And let's do the logo sticker. All right. <laughs> That's so awesome. So, uh, so here's the thing. I know that it's not gonna affect the sound and uh, well affect the lacquer. I mean, these might, these are really, uh, you know, these are real stickers as painters say, this is meant to come off. This isn't, so uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. But you're probably gonna see these on my horn in uh, a couple videos coming up. So if you have a sticker that you'd like to see me put on my horn, whether it's your own sticker or just something funny uh, that you'd like me to put on there, a Kenny G sticker maybe. Uh, if you have a sticker, uh, let me know. Uh, send me a message on uh, Instagram, send me an email or put a comment here and uh, I'll get it hooked up and I'll slap one of your stickers on here and it'll be cool. Maybe I'll switch it up every so often. I'll leave some stickers on there for a few weeks or something then I'll, I'll rotate if I can get a bunch because there's not you know a ton of room on here but I'll put them wherever. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, once again, it's not scientific. Uh, there's gonna be people out there going, well, you need to have a, a controlled environment and we're gonna have to measure the waves. Listen, I'm a musician, I just, I just play music. I'm telling you what I think. I, I thought it sounded the same. I thought it felt the same. That's it, you know, take, take it for what it is. I'm just one person playing an instrument. That's it. I claim to be nothing more, <laughs> sometimes less. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it fun. I hope you found it interesting. And if you did enjoy it, uh, thanks so much. And please share it around. If you enjoyed it, other people would enjoy it as well. And that's the best thing you can do for me. Along with supporting my channel by sharing it around, I want to give a big thank you once again to all my patrons over on Patreon. They directly support the channel monetarily to really help me make these videos. There's a link to that in the description below if you want to check it out. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out a bunch of the other videos I have. I'll have a lot of fun videos here. I have a lot of comparison videos, gig videos, all sorts of stuff. Go check them out. Thank you once again, and I'll see you in the next video.